I think Greenwood is going to play for Manchester United. Tell me guys below 60 million pounds for Harry Maguire and uh, McTominay. Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. My name is Rob Dukan, an ordinary Manchester United fan just like you. Guys, in this video, we'll be giving you the latest about Mason Greenwood. Also, Harry Maguire improved D from West Ham uh, uh, for Harry Maguire and McTominay. We'll talk about also a very important story here yeah, about Donny van de possible transfer to Spain, where I am at the moment. And guys, yeah, before we kick off to that, we we'll do it's an eight mini video please if you can help the channel just like the video subscription is yours but you're welcome <laughs> so let's hit straight into it let's start with Donny van de Beek we've heard from Fabrizio Romano saying that there have been development uh, in terms of Donny van de Beek Donny is going to leave if you watch the game like on Sunday where he played with the reserve and still can impose himself he was actually substituted in the halftime by Eric Ten Hag Hannibal came into his position and uh, Hannibal did pretty much well look guys football is not a magic football is determined on the pitch forget about the millions transfers it's about deals but in terms of performance it's on the pitch that is one one o one for football. Everything is done in that green grass. So if Donny van de Beek doesn't fit Manchester United, it's a very unfortunate situation. I think we have talked about it here. We had some comments from some of you who feel really sorry about Donny. You remember the game he had an injury, right? The last game he played. Donny had a very good game and he had to stay out for a long time. And to build up yourself back into, into speed, it's very difficult. But Donny is a good player. I think him coming to Spain, he will be relevant. He might kick off well. We wish him all the best if he does leave Manchester United. United and uh, that's where we are that's where we are with Donny so Donny almost a 70 80 percent chance he will be playing in Spain here next season Harry Maguire you guys saw the error he did you guys saw also the the, tr the pass he gave for the goal against Bilbao he did an error he gave a pass also um, um, a decisive pass with the head obviously and uh, Pelestri scored the goal his names are crazy when you do you know when you do all these videos like what we do here I've been doing this for a year now when you do all these videos you know people from different regions of the world so excuse me if i don't pronounce your word the words very well i'm not a professional journalist i'm a fan of manchester united that's why we meet here and you know have a chat so smash that like video for that effort my friends anyway yes sir uh, pelestri scored the goal from harry Maguire. but no matter how harry Maguire performs to manchester united he has to be sold this is not only because he is the full choice of def in defense it's because he's not in ten hacks plan for all the Maguire lovers harry Maguire is not in ten hacks plan it is clear and him staying is destroying his international career. So last week's uh, reports I read the, uh, on uh, the Express, they were talking about Magwe has come to that realization that he has to move on with his career. And I think that's a good start. He needs to go. Uh, yeah, so the story is West Ham wanted to offer 20 million pounds for Harry Magwe. Manchester United United rated Harry Magwe for 50 million pounds. Wow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and they rated McTominay for 40 million pounds. But West Ham wanted to give 30 million pounds for McTominay and 20 for Harry Maguire but they have gone for an offer of 60. Tell me guys below do you think that's a good offer 60 million pounds for Harry Maguire and um, McTominay? I'll tell you mine but drop yours below this is a serious thing 60 million pounds 60 million pounds that's you're cancelling the money you spend for Holland right for those two players which is which is sorry which is i think is, is not bad yeah because we know that fred also fred will be leaving we heard also sorry i'm jumping into fred immediately also because we're talking about bringing money money to, uh, coming into manchester united coffers so fred will be going to galapasaray we have um, got the information that manchester united have finally accepted to reduce the demands in terms of his transfer fee to 15 million pounds united wanted 20 million pounds for fred fred is a 100 percent would not be a manchester united paper player so you can take that to the banks just about the fee but like i said on champions league they need to recruit so fred will be somewhere in turkey where is turkey I need to swim to Turkey here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's where we are here yeah, with Fred um, and McTominay also. But I also read an article at the Daily Mail also where Eric Ten Hag said, you know what, I don't want to sell McTominay, but if the right offer comes, we are going to take it for McTominay. Those are statements that managers use when they want to get a good deal, not when they want to sell, but when they want to get a good deal for a player, which they would not mind to be on the bank. But yeah, I think David Moyes has been, uh, uh, Moyes has been a very good uh, manager for West Ham. I think Moyes is someone he's trusted in that team Moise love those two players Moise is going to invest in those two players you guys should stay tuned to the channel because we will update you on those players but my thinking is United to accept that deal 60 million they have made, made the first offer we know that they have a lot of money not some a lot of money from the money they sold rice uh, over 100 million pounds why do you not give us rice and we give them two players plus plus funds this is stupid I mean anyway I don't think it's stupid it's a very unprofessional move from West Ham but anyway that's where we are and uh, the, we will give you guys updates 
update on that. Let's come to the big story, which is Mason Greenwood. Mason, Mason Greenwood, the star of the most of you watching this channel, the star of Manchester United. Many call him generational talent. Mason, Mason Greenwood. The news here is Mason Greenwood, Manchester United. In a couple of, in less than a week, you will know Mason Greenwood's future. That is clean and clear. Mason Greenwood will either be a Manchester United player or be sold. My thing, uh, I mean, you're asking, Ralph, how do you know this? Because this has been already spoken. Simon Stone said that before the beginning. Simon Stone is a journalist, which is so close to the Manchester United setup. He said United, before the beginning of the season, they will make a decision on Mason Greenwood. What's that decision is? Nobody knows what the decision is. Maybe you know. But I can speculate. You know, speculation is free. It's free for you. Tell me what the decision is. Let me put myself in the position of the decision makers of Manchester United. Mason Greenwood is a massive talent. Massive, massive talent. If he wasn't a talent, would those capitalists, he would have been maybe sold at the most or pay off his contract and left him go. But he is a talent. Ten Hag has relished it. Ten Hag has seen his movement. He's so good. He's young. He, he's reading of the game. Cannot just give that talent to a player. No, because, and let me tell you something. If Mason Greenwood leaves Manchester United, he plays for another club, which means he's profitable for another club. It's not like he, if you want to punish him not to play, Manchester United is nobody's, yeah, it's a football religion, but it's nobody's religion. You don't need to come in and impose people uh, social things. He wasn't found guilty. Uh, I, mean, I mean, he wasn't found guilty. And United, if he had to be punished, right, in the football sense, he has already been punished. He has been over a year not playing football. And the funniest thing in all this is that he has a child now with a girl in concern. And uh, I think they are getting married. Um, that, that's the rumors. Um, there's no, I, I mean, it's not 100%, but, that's it. but they live together and they're back in their relationship. So I think United, what they will do, as I said in my previous video, I think they will try to make a PR stone. They will give an interview. I will be very surprised if there is no interview about Mason Guru for next week. There will be an interview for Mason Guru next week. His story will be talking about his family, how he's going through things, and um, that will be the starting. Then he will be integrated. When United scores, when there's that possible win the first two day games or two games, that positive vibe, Greenwood will be insected with the Manchester United team. Slowly, I think Greenwood is going to play for Manchester United because if he had to leave United, they had to sell him or loan him. But I think he's going to be a Manchester United player. And guess what? Greenwood is in the list of Manchester United players for 2023-2024 season. So what are we talking about? This is very clear. So tell me what you think below about Greenwood as well. I know most of you are fans of Greenwood, but tell, don't tell me I want him to play. Tell me why you think he should play or why he should go. You know, tell me that that is more important uh, or, uh, about, uh, the, well, I mean, for the video, for the fans, or for those of you who will manage to watch this video. And guys, please tell me where you're watching these videos from because in a month's time, in a month's time, no, in two, three weeks' time, we'll be doing the live content in the morning. So I won't be doing this pre-record thing. I'll be sitting every Every, I did a question here, go to our community share section and answer it. what time is preferable for daily updates on Manchester United news and, you know, transfer. That's what fun channels do. So go there and tell me. But most of you have said already that it's around 10 a.m. or 12 a.m. UK time. Anytime that it's good time for you guys. It's, anyway, guys, it was great speaking to you. And yes, drop your comments. I'm waiting to reply you. And glory, glory, Manchester United. I will be doing my 2023-2024 season video. What I did the one last year and it happened the way I said it. So this year, you should listen. And uh, I'll put the video on the channel shortly. Talk to you soon.